I don't think my cam's working. That's rough. Oh, no, no, no. Here's what it is. I can move this over there. Just get everything down here. You know, I did some stuff and didn't get it quite correct yesterday. Um, but we will. We will. We will, we will, we will. Morning, everybody. I hope you had a wonderful evening. I hope you slept great. And it's another day in Raptor Land. So, after we get another so called squad mate left the squad yesterday, we damn near back to the originals, which is fun. Because um, we're a good group of guys, we get along with each other. Mm -hmm. We understand each other. We give each other a hard time. Um, Mr. Francis, Christy said she loves you. Prayers are out for you and Betsy. Um, love you to death. As soon as you can, buddy, hit me up. Give me some information on what's going on with your woman. Love you. Bye, right, bro. Oh, my goodness. So, playoff football is here again. Yeah, we'll talk about it again. Sports are on the television. Sun is coming up. Shades are open. It's bright as hell behind me. I know it. I don't have my good morning voice yet. I'm on like my, I think, second cup of coffee. I think. I don't know. But, yeah. That's where I am right now. <coughs> mm, wonderful. All right. I told myself I was going to quit doing this while I was doing this. Just quit these. And I, I, I plan on it. But first, I'm sitting here pick the sleep out of my damn eyes. <coughs> Coffee, conversations, a couple of games, then get up and do my wifely chores. Um, get some advertisement out there for my business so I can get this up off the, up off the ground and Really get to going with it. That's what I want to do. Hmm. So in the meantime, while y'all sit here, not talk amongst yourselves, I'm Uncle Potty. We did that quite a bit of sun yesterday. We close this out. I'll save y'all's eyes for now. Till later. Till later. Veda. <laughs> oh boy. So, uh, wow, doing a little, hey, what's up, smacker, <clears throat> how the hell is you, yeah, you see, I'm so busy getting rid of my, 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 my stuff, stop doing that, some of my bitches, headed to work, is you, and that's what I thought. Yes, sir. Getting ready, are you? 
What do you mean? Changing your panties, putting your socks on, <laughs> having your breakfast, your coffee. That's how I get ready for work. Get up, get my two cups of coffee, and you're ready to get out the damn door. Two cups of coffee, head out the door, go to work, get her done, get her deed. Oh no, coffee's great shit, bro. Keeps you regular. Like greens only without eating the nasty shit. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Warm brown goodness. Caffeinated. Yes, I'm a coffee drinker. Have been probably since, well, I don't know, before I was a teenager. Mom would get up and with dad, which when we lived in the country, it was like four o'clock in the damn morning. And she wanted her coffee, you know, because I mean, the older generation, they really, really, really liked her coffee. Well, mom would sit at the dining room table. With her cup of coffee, her ashtray, and her cigarettes, and she'd have a radio one on a radio station called KFDI. Uh, country music radio station, which all of us kids grew up just didn't really care for. Uh, that changed when I got older. I'd come back to my roots, come back to the country. But I sit and remember all the times I'd sit and have conversations with my mom in the morning. And... Uh, you know, this is long after Dad had already gotten up, gotten his stuff ready for work, and went on to work. Mom would sit there, and she would have coffee with us kids before we got ready for school. And then we'd go to school and come home, and she'd beat us. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> she needed to <laughs> a couple more times than she did, but she didn't. Yeah. That's okay, Avis. We'll be all right today. I'm going to get these guys to drop into some Battle Royale instead of some DMZ, man. Because DMZ, to me, is getting boring. There, there's no... There's just no thrill to it. So, yeah. The Tier 1, it's getting annoying. Mm. Call of Duty did put out a uh, update yesterday that uh, season two will not be out until January or February fifteenth. So um, they put out a big tweet about it yesterday, apparently. And Stone Mountain sixty four threw out a. Uh, let me see if I can go. Go find it here. It's in my subscriptions. Uh, yeah, it does. It loses its luster after a while. I try to find something a little different, you know, to play with uh, the guys and all that good stuff. But, um, yeah, where'd it go? I didn't tell me it was any shorts. That's a crock of crap. Uh, yeah. Okay. Live at 10 a.m. weekdays, Pacific time, which should be any minute, right? Don't believe in me. Man, look at these these uh, thumbnails these guys have, bro. It's not much. You just take a screenshot. Add a little lettering. Add an arrow. Add a bunch of other crap. And that's all they did. That's it. I just take a screenshot, bro, of that. Oh, uh, so. Yay! I can't find it, though. Some of them bitches. Oh, 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 oh. Here's Francis's, uh, Vidya page. Let's see, where the hell's all this? There we go. There we go. This is... One of my favorite games to play. 
Uh, this is NASCAR racing 2003 season. Um, Francis is doing a, I don't know if he was in this race or what he was doing. Um, yeah, it's NASCAR, bro. This one never lost its luster. One thing about this is I wish Francis would have done this in high depth, but at the time I don't think he understood it. Uh, 720. So this is in the race, and you can hear the stuff that's going on in the race. You know, you got the car going, you got the spotter calling at you here, telling you what's going on when the leader's pitting, when someone's having a wreck. Oh shit, your tires are low. I mean, you know, it's pretty fun. But this is Francis's page years ago. I would like to see him get back into it, um, find a game that he really likes, and stream it again. Keep it under 55. It, it, Keep it sure, under 4,000 in second. Sure, take his mind off of a lot of stuff that goes on in his household. So, by now, I don't know everything. So, don't think I do. But these are some of the videos, some of the stuff. This is how I met Francis, right here. Like, he always drove the in this field. Now. I always drove inside the car. So, yeah, it's pretty fun, man. Okay, so he's showing you the arena here. Ooh, jump forward. Okay, now this is live racing, bro. Everybody in here is human. There's no AI. And the thing is, is you, you, you can't predict what a human's going to do. Like you can predict what a human's going to do. This was one of the games that, that we just fell in love with. Francis, your injury was too low, bro. That's why you're sliding up here, your tires. <laughs> Gotta come in high and then shoot low. Front, your nose is low too. Where you at? Is this California? No. St. Daytona. St. Chicago. Oh, I didn't see it. Son of a biscuit eater. Oh, what the hell? Oh, 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 that's practice. Now they're getting ready for the race. This is TCR. So this is um, a special We're waiting on the rest of the team field. race. As you can see, these, these two guys are in the same team. 704, 705. They have the same team color. They have the, you know, um, 704 and 705 is how close they are to each other. You know, that's where they got named. So, but, yeah, this is... This fun, this game was fun, and it's, as a matter of fact, it's still going to this day. They still have servers out there for this game, and this game came out in 2003. 2003, can you look at you? Bro. Hmm. I come back and watch these every once in a while. Ah, damn it, Francis. What the hell are you doing, bro? What the hell? See, don't, that's not a bad thing. It's no commentary. See. Ah, so it looks like he wrecked out. Hmm. And the reason why you're not seeing some of the paint schemes in the cars properly is because when you download them into the into the car file folder, um, some of them just don't show up for some reason. You know, so. But yeah, this this was one of the our, my favorite games, bro. I mean, it looks kind of cartoonish here, but when you're in the game, it doesn't. It's not really that cartoonish, and it's actually pretty nice, man. Um, a lot of these guys, a, a few of these guys, I don't remember who they were. Francis and I had a conversation about this the other day. Um, actually, race. Some of them are in dirt. Some of them are on, are on, you know, like the Wheeling series and stuff like that, NASCAR. I don't remember who they are, but we used to race against them. Um, Dale Earnhardt Jr. used to race in a simulated league like this, running the same game. And their league name was called Black Hole Motorsports. Black Hole Motorsports. I can unwrap my tongue from my teeth. And there were s several times that um, 
in online races like this, we would we would actually get to race the gentleman, and it was it was fun. It really was. So you get to, you get to meet people that you never really thought you would ever meet. And as a matter of fact, some of today's NASCAR drivers actually use a uh, simulator now called iRacing, and it's it's more it's a game. And it's kind of like this one, but it's way more advanced than this one. This one came out, shit, 1999, 2000, 1999, it was 2003, so it actually was produced in 2002, yeah, so it's NASCAR racing 2003 season, Greenville, that's where they're at, Spartanburg, okay, that's a pretty cool little thing, see, and it shows you the guys that are retired, and then he's going through and showing you the truck, uh, the truck, car numbers, who's in first, what their speed is, which is 192.404, pretty quick. Um, but then again, you also have to understand he's in the draft. Um, he's leading the draft. The guys behind him are actually quicker, because that's how this works. And according to the way, well, from from the way everything looks, it is. Uh, A low line tra a track. In other words, you get on the low side, you stay on the low side um, if you can, because your car's going to want to slide up. See the 506? Your car's going to want to slide up because when you get into the corner, your tires are warm. Ain't much, you know, you're losing grip lap after lap because the track is just eating them up. So when you get into the corner, you're sliding up because your tires are hot and slick. So they slide up. But you can correct it before you get out of the corner. Now he's pitting. Whoa! Son of a, whoa, whoa, holy cow, we got a wreck, oh, oh, all right, everybody's dead, morning, Francis, <laughs> I sit here watching one of your old streams, bro, one of the old FSB streams, the TCR streams, <laughs> yeah, brings back memories, doesn't it? Man, I remember these days, Francis. Bro. You gotta start streaming again when you get Betsy settled in and get her taken care of and you get her handled and get everything corrected with her. You, you're gonna have to start streaming again, bro. I don't care if you stream this. I don't care what you stream. Um, and believe it or not, there's a guy out there that streams uh, Euro Truck Simulator. The guy's got thousands of followers on Facebook. Yeah. So. Yep. <sighs> so I was kind of explaining to him. I would love to see that you start streaming again. And, and it was explaining to him about this old stuff. And how we used to do this stuff. And this is where we met. And, uh, you know, doing stuff like this. So. So how are you this morning, Bubba? Give me a second. I got to run in some more Joe. Cloudy should be on in a minute. Take this button off and kick off. Oh. Replicate Racing. Morning, Jared Francis Kiss Replicate Racing. Sorry, it was supposed to say Francis. Dude, if you're using speech to text, you need to stop. Because either one, your tongue is tied around your teeth, or two, you just can't spit nothing out straight this morning. 
<laughs> Let me see if Mr. Francis is on here. No, he is not. He doesn't have it on. That's okay. So, uh, uh. Yes, sir. And? So how's she doing, Bubba? She out of it when you talked to her last night? You know, there's a lot of easier ways to sit here and have a conversation instead of typing. Francis is going to type out his, his, his answer here for me, apparently. Okay, buddy. Had to see you come online. I see you come online. I give you an invite. Just like that. I know it's going to take you two minutes. Warm, okay. <laughs> brother. How are you? Francis. Are you okay? Okay. <laughs> I am doing okay. I finally got to talk to her at nine o'clock last night. Yep. Yep. Uh, doing okay. I told her I'd be up some fun this morning. Here. Get everything all together now. Right. What time did you go to bed this morning? Was it four o'clock again? No, no, no. I went to bed at two o'clock. Holy crap! Francis is getting to bed early. Me and old man. Yeah. Oh, I, I told myself, hey, you go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> right, Av. I'm glad he got to talk to her last night too. It might have been late, but at least he got to talk to her. He's still talking to you through Facebook, Francis. Okay. He can hear you. All you have to do is answer him. I mean, if if you want to go and read it. So. Yes, I did get to talk to her last night. Um, she was kind of with it and not with it. I had to tell her to leave the god darn buttons alone on the phone because she kept hitting them and I kept going beep beep. You know. <laughs> So she was pretty uh, out of she was pretty out of it, drugged up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's this button do? Beep and you're going, Oh my eardrums. <laughs> three three times oh, I had Lord. to call the switchboard back to get back to that room because oh, Lord. she hung up on me. <laughs> <laughs> the lady at the switchboard was freaking giving are they answering the point? I said, yes, it's my wife that keeps hanging up on me. <laughs> <laughs> she don't want to talk to me right now. She's stoned. <laughs> well, well I, you, want to, you want to hear a good one now. Listen to this. Oh, Lord. And this you is Betsy we're talking her. about. Yes, we are. <laughs> she tells me that uh, she thought that we went to a uh, back in Vermont in Colchester. Oh, shit. Just down the road from her parents' house. There's two barns down there. Right. There's a red one, and there's a white one. Well, she told me that, that she asked me, she said, did we go there yesterday? <laughs> and I said, no, we didn't go there yesterday. She said, well, 
You went to the red barn and you got some weed. <laughs> and and <laughs> I had to die laughing when she said that. Good Lord, yeah, so she was out of it. So anyway, she <laughs> said, some guy brought me over to the white barn and told me to stay there that I couldn't go over to see you, you know, me. Right. And uh, she said, I could see you from the barn, but I couldn't go over there and physically be with you. Uh oh. I said, oh, my freaking God. I said, you must have been on some good shit, I said. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all I, that's all I freaking said. Right. And, and uh, I said, well, I told her afterwards, I said, you know why it was that way? Because she kept telling me there last night that she kept telling them that she wanted to see me, you know? Uh, uh, she wanted to see me, and that's what I think happened was it was in her mind, you know, that she wanted to see me, and right, and that's how that happened. A.V., I think you get that wrong, brother. B him being in Maine, he's talking about uh, down by her parents' house in in uh new hampshire or vermont think, vermont god damn it colchester yeah down in colchester okay okay i just didn't know if you were and it's it's not a red barn like a restaurant or anything like that um oh. it's just a red barn <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but yeah oh, yeah. oh wow she must have been tossed she must yep. have been very tossed yep. well it's good and... that, it's good that she's talking it's good that she's you know not awake it's good she's awake you know yeah. and doing yep. that stuff so well i guess i guess she gave the uh yeah. the nurses a hell of a time yesterday mm -hmm. because uh she kept taking her freaking robe off and i don't know why she was freaking doing that you drugs know, bro off. bro drugs bro yeah and uh drugs. She, kept telling, she kept telling them that i want to see my husband Right. I want to see my husband. Uh, I want to go home. I want to, you know, that's her normal thing anyway. I yeah. want to go home. She wants to be with her, <laughs> with her man and and and, yeah. and hear the birdies chirping in the background. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, but yeah. once she gets, once she comes out of it, and that that man, she's going to be heavily sedated for a little while, you know, to keep the pain away. Hopefully. God, I pray for her, man. I really do. Everybody's praying for her. Uh, Christy told me to tell you this morning, and this will be the second time on stream I'm telling you. But she loves you. She loves Betsy. She doesn't even know you guys, but her prayers are with you, and she hopes everything turns out all right. So, yeah, because well, she thank you. she sits here and listens to me. You know, when I talk to her about it, so yeah. I talked I talked to her about Betsy just about every night. You know. Cause yeah, I am concerned. I've hell, I've known you guys for a long time. You're like you're like family to me. So, um, yeah. The funny thing is, is Francis. I hope like hell she doesn't have any male nurses that have tattoos. <laughs> Let me see tattoos. Why you're not gonna remember? Let me see them. <laughs> <laughs> she used to give me hell about my tattoos we'd sit there and have them damn yahoo conversations on sunday morning she'd come up stand behind you hey show me your tattoos <laughs> when cloudy comes on i gotta freaking ask him i got an invite on facebook for to be his friend okay so i don't know if he got hacked again or what the hell's going on okay yeah i wouldn't don't don't accept it we'll find out I'm what's not. going on you already have him on your facebook right yeah yeah okay so basically someone's trying to yeah yeah okay so what uh, maybe that maybe that guy that you guys were having a problem with yesterday i doubt it i doubt it he he's a, he's a follower not a leader oh, he, uh, okay. he apparently you know he gets Someone gets to him and talks to him, and he just, you know, oh, it's the familiar thing, so I'm going to go with the familiar thing. Okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that, that's a good one, Carrie. Yeah. The red barn is a dispensary here. <laughs> right? You're wishing for a red barn up there, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> we have a red barn restaurant up here, believe it or not. <laughs> I bet you do. Yeah, we do, and it has good food. Real good food. Oh, God, yeah. 
We, yeah. uh, Chris and I found this, uh, hometown restaurant right over here by us. We stopped there one night and, cause I was craving a, a chicken fried steak, you know, being country and all that, man, they threw out a, mm, they threw out a damn good country fried steak, man. Chicken fried steak, not country fried. Now I'm talking yeah, like have, Christy. They have uh chicken and, <coughs> uh, seafood there. Oh, nice. And boy, their chicken is freaking good. A, well, we don't have seafood down here because it's not, I mean, you can get seafood, but it's not like mm -hmm. what you guys get. You, I mean, you guys have more seafood restaurants than we do. I guarantee you have more seafood restaurants than we do. Oh, definitely. So, Maine, what do you expect? Oh, yeah. On the coast. <laughs> You're on the coast. You got, I mean, that, that's where a lot of the lobster ships come in. That's where a lot of the, uh -huh. you know, the cod ships come in. Uh, yeah, so I mean, you guys get all that fresh fishery stuff up there. And, Remember, uh, I told you I got the two donations last night. I got the one from yep. Ed. Yes, sir. And I got the other one from my ex co worker. worker. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yep. she's never done the PayPal thing before. Mm -hmm. So I have to wait till February 8th to get her money. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But I told her, I said, that's no big deal. I said, Hey, it'll be there when it's there. Yeah. You know. She must have had to start a PayPal account. Yeah. 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 So, well, I, and Christy was looking at me. She's like, well, I'll send money to him, but I'd rather send a money order. I'm like, no, I'm going to do it PayPal. Why? I don't trust him. I'm like, look, PayPal is secure. PayPal's been yeah, running for years, secure. So I've been using it for years, secure. So it's no big deal. They don't give out your information. Yeah, I, I definitely won't use GoFundMe no more. Hell no. no. They take no. Their, they take their fees. Now, now, PayPal does, but because PayPal's been around a lot longer, their fees ain't near as high. Walmart to Walmart is faster within 10 minutes. What? Yep. Yeah, Walmart does it that way, too. I've done that before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but that, when you're, when you're, okay, I, I get it, maybe. Um. But when we're doing something like this, it's best to go through one source and a very good secured source is PayPal. Whether you like it or not, it's still secure and it's a very fast way of getting the money to them. Um, and it has the lowest fees because, yes, it's a digital transfer, but it doesn't take, I mean, they're bigger than most, except for like Western Union. Western Union is worldwide, so is PayPal. But the thing about PayPal is, is it being a digital transaction. They can go ahead and, you know, what they do is they move the money from your account into their account and then from their account to the individual's account. And they do that I, I, to make sure that they can verify that that account is good and that that, that money is there. See what I'm saying? It's just like with, with that donation that I got from Ed. Mm -hmm. I had that in five minutes. Yep, and then I sent you the donation the next day, and you had it in yep. five minutes. Yep. So I mean, exactly, it was put right onto my PayPal card. Right on. Absolutely, it. absolutely, and you can use it anywhere. It's just like a regular debit or credit card, and yeah. So, well, I'm glad that she's she's in good spirits. Of course, now drugs have have a lot to do with that. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Walmart is secure. There's there's, there's no doubt about that. There is, you know, but yeah, I, I get that, Carrie. But here's the thing: I don't carry cash, bro. There's a reason for it. The zinc in the change, and I, I know you're no. Oh, the zinc in the change, <laughs> I can't carry it, dude. I break out. That's why I don't wear watches. You see, because one, I'll drain a watch battery in seconds. Two, I break out in a big red rash. So I don't it's it zinc. Just... It just burns a hole in my fucking pocket. The hell with the rash. <laughs> well, it's just you. You would you would think different if you had a pocket full of change all day and you get home that night and you got this big fucking itchy ass rash on your fucking leg. <laughs> yeah, and right. if you scratch it, it burns. That's how bad the fucking um, allergy is to it. That's why I have all my change. You'll laugh at me, but I have all my change in a freaking plastic baggie. Oh, I That's thought she was gonna I say. I thought she was gonna no. say a change purse. I was gonna fucking start no, laughing. No, 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 no. We're not going there this morning. Carrie, Carrie, <laughs> Carrie, listen. Um, yeah, we're not talking about your coin purse, fuck face. <laughs> I can't find nuts. <laughs> we 
he's talking about his coin purse. I'm not talking about his coin purse. He just needs to quit and go to work. Um, <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 no. When you deal in change, bro, you when you when you when you when you deal in cash, when you deal in cash, you you deal with change, bro. So you carry change, which is why I use my damn debit card. Um, Scott wants him back. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I see him. Oh my God, he changed his name to King Dirty. What the fuck? Oh my God, King Dirty. You st- King Dirty. King Dirty. That's that's his. Oh my God. Boy, is he gonna receive hell over this one? King Dirty. Oh my God. He's gonna he's gonna resell, re, receive oh, yeah. a lot of hear. hell over this one. Yeah, bro. I didn't. No, it's because I don't fucking pay attention to shit that doesn't matter to me, bro. Xbox does not matter to me. I don't get up out of bed, have a cup of coffee, and jump on my Xbox. I get out of bed, wake up with the girl. If I have to go out and start the car for her to warm it up, I go out and start the car to warm it up. Then I don't even start my stream until after she leaves. And it's called courtesy for her. It's because I care for her, and I want her to know that I care for her. So I don't do that shit. I wait until it's like Saturdays. I get hit up at 7 30, 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, yo, man, my girl ain't even out of bed yet. What the fuck do you want me to do? You want me to jump up here and get loud? You know, at 7 30 in the fucking morning when my girl is trying to sleep in bed. It's, you know, I, no, I'm not doing it, bro. So y'all are just going to have to wait. Y'all are just going to have to wait. So. This is my normal time to be bugging you. Yeah. I was going to say that's usually all day, every day, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> really? Just look, I got to give you a hard time, Dub. Got to give you a hard time, brother. I mean, you have a hard time sometimes taking what we say with a grain of salt, but it's okay. I have a hard enough time in life taking taking shit for granted, so I don't need it on the fucking video game. <laughs> look, we're not, taking, we're not taking anything for granted, brother. We're not taking anything for granted. What we're saying is, is the things that we say to each other, are meant only as a joke and i don't want no, anybody don't. to yeah i don't want anybody to get to get upset about it because there's really no reason to get upset about it you know like king dirty now king dirty oh, jesus he ain't the king of dirty you don't have a farm it don't matter <laughs> well, he lives in detroit <laughs> i'm the king of well beans. i don't know if he lives in detroit but i know he's up in michigan so he says he's close to detroit <laughs> Chop <a> wood. <laughs> you must do he must do that in his freaking sleep for goodness sakes. <laughs> Who? Carrie? Yeah. No, he's talking about dub yesterday. Dub had dub had to go. Oh dub oh oh yeah, what? okay. Yeah, dub yeah, well, that, that's need, right. <laughs> look, bro, you need to be reading the stream, man. Carrie is giving you a hard time on the stream. A B is giving you a hard time on stream, bro. So Whatever. Just saying. I'll get feedback if I have the stream on. So, see, here's the issue right there. When you said whatever, wh- I'm sitting. Here, he's making fun of me half the damn time, and I'm laughing about it. That's oh, what I you know need I had to do. It on, but I'm getting double the feedback. I'm getting it from the that's... the stream and in my ears. Okay, so turn the so, stream down. That's... Mute the stream. You don't have to have the stream. With the with with the that's what I had to do. Yeah, close the audio, kill it out. <coughs> Just read the chat. Av, Jesus Christ, go to work. <laughs> you know, no, I don't have the kids today, uh, Carrie. So uh... <laughs> go fuck yourself. He he already does. He does that on a nightly basis. Oh Jesus! He's down. Oh, there, Jesus! He's down there scratching his his uh, pulsating bulbous pus sack, as he called it last night, off stream, of course. And that's his <laughs> saying, so he can add to it, take from it, whatever he wants. Purple nipple, purple nurple, just whatever. <laughs> you know, that's anal con, Horace. 
Call me Corey and we'll have an issue, Dubtard. You call me Corey and we'll have an issue, Dubtard. Oh. Uh, Corey. What the fuck's wrong with Corey? What's, what's, what's with Corey? You don't like Corey? What did Corey ever do to me or you? <laughs> I thought it was if we called your fat ass late for dinner, we'd have an issue. Hey, the seven of you some bitches watching this stream could try to like that. Be great. Oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, Sorry. you're, sit oh, you're sitting here laughing at you. Sitting here laughing at me. You laughing at Carrie. Laughing at Dub. Francis, there, there's a light for you, all right? Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it came up on screen. See, there you go, right there. <laughs> you, get, you get cool sunglasses, dude. It, it goes from guns to sunglasses. It's pretty cool with some animated reticle or animated, yeah, reticles around the outside in the corners, I think. But I, I found them, I downloaded them, put them on, and then for like a week, they weren't working properly. What? Scared shit out of me. See, look at that. See, look. There's a there's a, there's a dude in the lens that's looking at you. I think he's trying to shoot you or something. But you know. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Claudia, get your ass up out of fucking bed or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Got a freaking uh, question to freaking ask you. Well, uh oh, we calling you out, Cloudy. You got called the hell out. He might be up. Somebody's freaking hacking your Facebook. Oh, he called you Corey instead of Carrie. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, me? No, your twin sister. Oh, <laughs> I don't have a twin sister. Well, then. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad I took a couple hits already. I'm glad. <laughs> Take a couple more, bandit. Uh, oh. no, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna need it because I'm going up to the hospital today. I'm gonna freaking need it. <laughs> so what time are you going up there, Bubba? Uh, I'm thinking about going up around ten, ten thirty, leaving here. <laughs> okay. Alright. Well, that's what? Uh, let's see. 10.30. It's, yeah. 9.30 right now here. Yep, yep, yep. It's going to be 11.30. But one good thing about it, I ain't got no phone call from freaking no doctor or nothing this morning. So that's right. knock on that's fucking wood right there. <laughs> right. All right, Carrie, brother. You have a good day. Francis, he's talking to you. Don't work too hard, actually. All right. Work your fucking ass off. Thank you, Carrie. Oh. Take care, man. Appreciate it. Love y'all. Be good, man. So I invited Cloudy, so I don't know when the hell he's going to be here. Okay. Uh. Well, I just want to ask him because I I don't want to accept it if it's a freaking hack, you know. Uh, He doesn't really get on Facebook a lot, Francis, so I don't know if I would um, yeah, accept I it at the moment. Yeah, I from him. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you kind did. Funny. I know you did. Right, Carrie? Um, and so if you guys are getting a friend request from Cloudy Carton or, you know, Chow, and you, and you know who he is uh, on Facebook, do not accept it until we talk to him because um, we believe somebody's got in, into his or is trying to copy his page. So I think that's what it is. Someone's trying to copy his page. Yeah, <coughs> he's got the same picture and everything too. You know, you gotta watch for that. Stuff. Well, his his picture, yeah. yeah. That, I mean, yeah, he he's got the same picture. Yeah, yeah. You kind of have to I, you have to secure your uh, Facebook and stuff. So I never I never take any chances when I see something like that. I always wait, or else I I'll text him if he comes on Facebook and I'll ask for, you know, are yeah. you are you asking for a friend's request again or not? And right. Three quarters of the time is no, I'm not. So it must be somebody trying to hack me. <laughs> yep, that's that's probably what it is. Um, I'm gonna go potty. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh. Don't shake it. Don't shake it. 
Don't shake more it. More than twice. Oh, don't shake it, but I'm not going to take it more than three times. And don't take a dump, neither. Nope. <laughs> oh, my God. Got to get her going first to get aborted. There. Well, right now, the sun is out. It's very nice right now. Yeah, the East Coast is having a really mild winter this year, man. Oh, I guess we are. Jesus Yo, Christ. Yeah, believe it, we are. Yeah. There's normally snow on the ground. Yeah, uh, there's snow on the ground here, and it's what what's really nice about it right now is there's snow on the ground, and it's got that glaze on top of it. Yeah, from the sun. From the sun and the you know yeah. being frozen and stuff, it's really pretty. It really is with the sun reflecting off in it. Well, you can but. keep that bullshit. No, you're gonna get some this weekend, so I shut the fuck up. Don't want it. You're getting it. I don't want it. You need it. You no. Need drought going on. You we need we just we just had some rain. We'll get. We'll, here's the no, way it's no. gonna go. When when Kansas has a dry winter, that spring usually we end up with like 25 or 30 inches of rain in like two months, bro. It's not gonna happen this year. You don't so that's think gonna so? hurt your business. No, it ain't. <laughs> no, it ain't. It's actually gonna make my business boom, bro. And well, the reason they're already getting water from the rain, then why do they need an irrigation system? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, because here's the thing. Uh, Grandma and Grandpa want their lawn to be looking good all year long. Businesses want their lawn to look good all year long. 90% of the people out here in Kansas that have irrigation systems also have drainage systems off of the downspouts of their homes. Which oh, the water yeah. that comes off of their downspouts doesn't sit on their lawn. It doesn't water their lawn like that. It actually goes to the street. And gets washed out. Oh. So, that's why my business is called Patriot Irrigation and Drainage. Which means I will be doing drainage from downspouts from homes to the streets. So, got plenty of experience doing that crap. The only thing I don't like about doing it is all the damn digging. All yes, the Mr. Pete, you're on the trench digger? I No, I'm not going to run a trencher, and the reason being is because 90% of these people, again, have irrigation systems. The last thing I need to do is just come in there with a trencher and rip just a, fucking rip yeah. a whole sh fucking system up, and then I have to repair it cost-free to them. You've yeah. done that once before, if I remember right. What's that? Ripped up somebody's shit. No, I didn't. Somebody else did. Oh, okay. They went out and they, they uh, ground I a... Trying, I was trying to blame it on you. I know. You that's because, you know, I, that's because you, you just love me so much. How far down do you, do you actually dig? Uh, or, uh, we don't we don't dig. We have a thing called the Viber Plow. And the Viber Plow, actually, what you do is you, you have this uh, Chinese uh, finger puzzle type thing. It's called the Stinger. And it's on the end of the pipe puller. And what you do is you take your pipe whether it be poly or, or PVC, and you wrap it in duct tape, and you shove it in this finger, and as this thing pulls, it tightens, it tightens it down on the, on the pipe, so it doesn't let go of the pipe, doesn't let go of the, 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 the duct tape. And you go down about 10 and a half, 11 inches is all you need. Because like, I, like I've told people, I've done so much studying in the state of Kansas that the average frost line in the state of Kansas in a mild winter is eight inches six to eight inches you're lucky oh, if it gets, you're lucky if it gets six inches if it's a mild winter now if we have a hard winter like a couple of years ago where it got down below zero for 10 days straight and we had wind chills of minus 40 minus i had fucking um water meters my water meter froze and it i had to go out and thaw it out luckily being a irrigation tech i knew how to do it without fucking shit up but <clears throat> no usually about 10 inches 11 inches 12 inches is the deepest that i'll go on anything and that's usually just a main line and that's if I, um that's if the customer calls for it and that's about it so i mean you don't have to go any deeper but the viber plow does 90 percent of the work for you so oh okay basically what you do is you have um locates come out locate all your utilities you know that, that gas lines have to be down at least six feet. Water lines have to be down at least five feet. 
if you're making a tap on the water line into the house, you have to do it after the meter and you have to have it inspected and you have to be an irrigation plumber to do it. Once, Damn. once you're done doing that, then you can run your main line to your backflow device and then start running all your zone lines, your head lines, find out where your valves are going to be, drop your valves in. The first thing I do is pull the line, pull all the lines for the heads because I've already got all the heads marked all over the yard with flags. Anywhere I'm putting a head, is there's a flag. So we run the line as close as we can to it so we don't have to put a whole lot of what they call swing pipe on it, which is a soft uh, fiber type rubber hose that we can bend and manipulate. And that's why it's called swing pipe because you can swing it back and forth. It, it doesn't break. It doesn't bend. I mean, it's flexible. I mean, you can take it, you know. The one thing you don't want to do with it is, is crease it. If you fold it over and crease it, then you have issues with pressure getting to the head. So you want to keep all the creases out of it. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's it's very simple. I get all my heads dropped in, get all my lines tied together, and then I start dropping in valves, doing the wiring, and then the controller. Once all that's done, then all I have to do is charge the main line with water to check it to make sure it's not leaking. And then once that's done, I start checking the zones, making sure they're running properly, and adjusting the heads at the final final time. So that's how an irrigation system is put in. Now, if it's a well, it's a little bit more uh, labor intensive because you got to trench from the house to the well head because you have to have mm -hmm. a 220 volt uh, wire come out of the breaker box through the basement or however hell they, they want to bring it out of the house, run it to the pump head. And then I have to have a wire that's 24 volts running from the controller to the pump start relay. And the wire comes out of the breaker box into the pump start relay and then goes from the pump start relay to the well head. And that's how those systems start up. So they're very where easy are, to diagnose. Where are all your units? Like where, where's all the uh, components of the irrigation system? Are they outside or? Every damn one of them are outside. Yeah. Valves oh, are outside. Okay. Backflow devices no, I know outside. The, valves are, the heads are, on, the, the heads are, but the valves, I mean, where is your power unit? It's well, we have, uh, okay, for instance, we have, um, they make controllers that are indoor outdoor combinations, which means they can take the beating of the sun and they're waterproof. Oh, okay. So um, okay. they last probably five or 10 years, depending on where they're located. Um, I personally, personally, I prefer to put them in the garage. That's where I personally prefer to put my irrigation controllers when I'm done installing in the garage because it's, it's <laughs> easily accessible for the homeowner. And once you teach them how to run the controller, hopefully they're not like these people and go out here and just, you know, just <laughs> run around and do stupid shit and uh, have it running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And they call me up and go, hey, I have a leak. And I go over and I look at the controller and I'm like, no, you don't. You're running this thing for five hours in one zone, you know. I would just say, can't you, can't you just <laughs> zone it out? How big are the land landowners properties i mean dude it, it up here matter. they're normally a half uh, up to five acres it depends on what you want to acre. it depends on what you want to irrigate i mean oh okay. if, if your immediate home has fescue lawn and you want to irrigate it then we go off of that if you have a field that needs to be irrigated that's when you call it a that's when you call a um agricultural irrigation specialist <laughs> Because that's way yeah. different. That's way different than what I'm doing. What I'm doing is residential or commercial lawn irrigation, lawn and, and plant material irrigation, which is totally different than what it is. I was going to say, do you put them like over by gardens and stuff? So what is the gardens? Mm. So if you have shrubs or you have flowers in your flower bed and you want to get water to them, the best way to do it is actually do it with what they call drip line. And drip line yeah. comes out of the ground into a line that has 12 inch. At every 12 inches, there's what they call a drip emitter. And those drip emitters, no matter the pressure you have in the line, as long as it's below 90 pounds, will just allow a drip every so often. Yeah. And it, you run it for 25, 30 minutes. Depending on how hot the summer is will determine how you set up your irrigation control. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. So, I mean, some zones right. you want to run for 25 minutes. Some of them you want to run for 30 because it's hotter than shit outside. Now, Rap, what I'm doing... I need to cut you short, but I got to go to my PT appointment. Okay. Uh, you didn't have to um, cut me short. We'll be back. Well, you didn't have to tell me all that. All you do is say, hey, I'll be back. See you later. Bye bye <laughs> Well. <laughs> Just letting you know, bro. So. All right, man. Take I'll care, man. The party. I'll, oh. I'll be back. I'm just going to shut my uh, controller off. I'll stay in the party. Oh, okay. Um, Francis, yeah. nice. Uh, I will find it later, and I will give a link to it on my uh, on my gaming page. Um, but like I said, we'd, I'd love to get you streaming again. Just find you a game that you're interested in streaming. You know, even your truck simulator. I have truck simulator. But there's a guy on okay. Facebook, and I'll have to show it to you, that streams truck simulator and he's got thousands of viewers dude thousands i got i got that construction simulator i got all kinds of fucking games oh yeah yeah i mean you can just stream whatever you want the thing about it is is um i can help you get set up on a lot of this stuff you know obs studio already so you know how to do it with obs so you're already set up yeah if i can remember it all Ooh been so long that jeez it'll come to you <coughs> i got streamlabs right now oh uh, you got streamlabs obs yeah do you pay for it <coughs> nope okay well i pay the 20 dollars a month for the things <laughs> the cam orders and all that shit i need I, I'm, yeah. get, I'm getting rid of this i don't like it i don't like it you can actually do more with streamlab with with uh, obs studio than you can with streamlabs and I don't know why, but I mean, they're basically the same damn program. It's just OBS studio has a lot more stuff that guys are working on, you know, little stuff that they can add and change and this and that. So but. I know you don't like Sean, but Sean's the one that helped me set, set it up before to uh, well, stream labs and ways, but yeah, he does OBS too. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. He's the one to help me set that up. First nope. time. Yep. yep. I could have helped you set that up, bro. Uh, something else. You need to look up a guy. Um, I'll see if I can throw out a link to his YouTube page. This gentleman will teach you everything you need to know about Streamlabs or about blah, excuse me, OBS Studio. So, hey, he's pretty good. His name is Michael Fire. Hell, uh, you're watching the stream, right? Yeah, I am. Okay, I'll just go to YouTube and show you his channel because I subscribed to it. Because, I mean, the guy's pretty damn smart. So, there you go. You see all that? Oh, yeah. Yep. And if you go through, subscribe to his channel, and you go to videos, he shows you how to do alerts, snap cameras replacement, uh, you know, live travels, say goodbye forever, you know, just all this he teaches you how to do all of this stuff so yeah yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna eventually get me a new webcam because yeah this I, one here is that plug and play and i i can't figure the goddamn thing out right so. uh, well plug and play ain't that bad um yeah so i might try to go with the other one though you right, know right <laughs> microsoft or whatever whichever one you know Right. Look at this. So Tim the Tap Man, he is he is pushing for telling people that Oh the Cowboys to the Super Bowl. Bro, they gotta get past Philadelphia first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you. I, I gotta give credit to Buffalo, man. I'll tell you what. I don't I don't know. Well, Buffalo just, looks like I they're just... falling off. So they really yeah. do. They look like they're falling off. And I it's it's them. I mean, you know. So yep. It's just them. It's Buffalo. So, I mean, Buffalo's got a good team, but uh, someone else you need to listen to, the gentleman's name is Nick Wright. Now, you're going to be like, why do I need to listen to him? Well, he is a Chiefs fan, first of all. But the guy is highly intelligent when it comes to sports, and he will not hesitate to tell you the truth. That reminds me of my friend in Vermont, the freaking a sports fanatic. This freaking guy just follows everything from freaking hockey to football 
and he does betting and every freaking thing else. I mean, this freaking guy, I can ask this guy a question, and I can get the freaking answer right off the bat. Oh, yeah. I mean, just, just brilliant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. should be. No, just like you. Yeah. You're, you're the same way. You know, you know what's what. <laughs> you know? Sometimes. Because you keep track of it. <laughs> I don't. Sometimes, well, sometimes yeah. I keep track of things I need to keep track of. Other times, yeah. I I slack like everybody else. So yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, like the time I'm going through right now, you know, I don't have time to do this and do that and do this and do that because I got too much on my mind right now. Right. <clears throat> you right. know. Yeah. So, I get that. You know. Just have to freaking take one day at a time. It is right now. Mm -hmm. Well. Yeah, it's all you can do, bud. Yep. It's all you can do. So, I mean... I gotta clean my fucking screen, because I'm not choking. Mm -hmm. And I gotta choke to uh. get off. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'll come over and choke you. Oh. Uh, no, 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 no. Not that way. Oh, I, I, well, you said you weren't getting off, that you needed choke. You know that's gonna be a short, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I thought maybe he was into auto asphyxiation. Or what do they call that? Neuro auto neurotic asphyxiation or some shit like that? Oh, I don't God. Know. Don't, don't start with these freaking big words. <laughs> <laughs> My brain ain't even awake yet, bro, and I'm popping off of this crap. So, you know. But Call of Duty came out with a. Uh, uh, what's oh, up yeah. for um, season two? Hug um, TV there's got a new update. I just did it last night for Battleground. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got, uh, um, I just updated it the other day, and it was a pretty good took, size update. Yeah, this one took over freaking 45 minutes at least, if not longer. Mm. Jesus Christ, I'm going, come on, hurry up, I want to go to bed. Oh. <laughs> so I take it you were up playing PUBG last night? No, I wasn't. I just went in for my Steam there. I don't oh. to be there for an update, so. Updating stuff in Steam. I get you. Yeah. Yeah. And I had a update for Wreckfest too. That was weird. Ah, I don't have Wreckfest. I need to get it. But that's on Xbox too. So I And I like Xbox. I like that uh, War of uh, World. Uh, not War of uh, Worlds. Um, four ships there. Four ship? <sighs> yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I got that one too. Oh. I mean, there's a lot of freaking things I could stream. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, I got I got over 20 freaking games on here. Bubba, I, that... <laughs> okay, all right, I'm going to do it. Piss on it, I'm going to do it. What, what are you doing now? Uh, you said you got 20 games on there, right? Yeah, oh, Jesus Christ, now you really got a difference. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Now okay. You really got a freaking show me, right? Okay, so this <laughs> this is just Battle.net, okay? Warzone 2, Modern Warfare 2019, Vanguard, Black Ops, Black Ops 4, Diablo 3, World of Warcraft. Those that's just like one, two. The other one, the classic, I don't have. I haven't installed it. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven installed here, right? Yeah. Okay, Rockstar Studios, right here. See it highlighting? That is for Red Dead Redemption. That's a different platform, different game. That's eight games, right? Yep. Okay. Uh -huh. Where'd I go? Right here. And let's open up Steam. Let's get some countage on how many games I can throw out here. This didn't include Xbox, the ones that I have on Xbox uh, Game Pass. So, and it doesn't include any discs that I have over here that I haven't installed yet. <laughs> Look, there's R Factor 2. See if it right there. No, I don't have that. Hmm. You gotta get that. It's on Steam, sweet. brother. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm gonna throw my throw my Steam up here. Bam! Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, Jesus 13, 14, 15, 16, Christ. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41 just on Steam. So between Steam and Battle.net, that's damn near 50 fucking games. <laughs> yeah. Fucking A, man. So I've got games, bro, and that's that's not including and this is this is the one that this is the one that kind of cracks me up. Is you get all these guys out here that stream all these games and man, they're experts and it's not it's not. Oh god damn, I've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Really? Oh boy. Game just came up that I got on my wish list that's on sale. Uh oh. So they say I've been Call of Duty since been playing Call of Duty since Modern Warfare. Okay. There's, One, two, there's Call of Duty One. There's Call of Duty One. There. It's Call of Duty Two. Right? Call of Duty Two. Here is Call of Duty 3, United Offensive. So that's first three. And here's where they started. Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, the original. That's where they started, bro. These are the games that I don't have installed on my computer, but I could. And then, of course, a classic, World at War. Now, World at War came out about the time that I had met you and was playing with you on NASCAR racing. In between that and this one, I found Battlefield. And when I found Battlefield, here's the laps. Oh yeah, I forgot. Modern Warfare 2, I have the original. Yes, I do. But between, I think it was Black Ops, and this one, which came out a long time ago, and this is a Dr. Disrespect game, which is probably why I don't like it. Um, because it's shit. Plain shit. They uh they want to talk about how they've been playing Call of Duty and they're experts near this, near that, near this, near that. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. I I quit playing Call of Duty for more than ten years. And I was playing Battlefield. And I was playing Papyrus, NASCAR Racing, for those 10 plus years that I didn't game on Call of Duty. So, when people want to talk about they have Call of Duty experience, talk to me about it. We'll see if you do. <laughs> we'll see if you do. But, you know, I mean... Of course, now I'm 52 years old. My reaction time has dropped to a whole liquor. Whoa, no. Uh, I didn't want to play that one. <laughs> I didn't want to play that one. This one here is kind of funky. I like it. It's not bad. But the color scheme on it is more of a, I don't know. You'll see. It's not, it's not, it's not what I'm used to. It's not what I like. All right. Let me plug my phone yeah. in over here on my PC so you can get the bang, 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 bang. sound again. Like yeah, I easier. have I have thirty four games on Steam. Nice. Bang, 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 bang. I'm just gonna pop up a little window that says, "Hey, look, you can go into the folders on your phone." I don't want to. There it is. <clears throat> Come on, Cold War. Boot up so I can shut you down. Pee -pee time. Good lord, the coffee is starting to pour. I've only got one more cup to drink. Oops, and I drank a whole cup, well, a whole pot. He's a crow. I can't drink coffee anymore because it just makes me shit like fucking crazy. Bro, that's one of the reasons why I drink it. Yeah, but I don't like getting up every freaking five minutes just to take a fucking shit. <laughs> Alright. 
Well, when I drink coffee, my poops are dead by 9 30 in the morning. Fuck, it's gone. Ah. Fuck oh, yeah. He's a... <sighs> That's it. Better clean it fast pipe. Fuck it, thing's got too much fucking present in it. Way too much. Uh, so I use coffee to wake up. I use coffee to get energized, and I use coffee to go poop. I like to poop in the morning. I like to get it done and over with. Fuck. Wow. Okay, so I'll compile the shaders. So this is Cold War over here, as you can see. Um, uh -huh. I can't do anything right now because the shaders are compiling. But look at the color scheme. Oh yeah. See, it's got the zombies and everything in it. It's yeah. it's more cartoonish than than Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare is closer to a realistic graphic type thing, but you know. That's not what I wanted. I did not want to play that game. And I accidentally booted it up because I'm a tard sometimes. <laughs> we all are. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but no but most of us can't call it out on ourselves and still laugh about it. You know what I mean? Yep. They just won't. I mean a lot of people just won't. All right, so I'm killing the chat box in here because this morning I did some stupid shit before I got really awake. My whole live scene, you know, live scene, you know what I'm talking about, Francis? Yep. I I, I was trying to delete some sources out of it this morning and accidentally deleted two fucking scenes and I got to redo them. Oh, no. Yeah, shit happens. I tied this one, which is my hangout scene, which is now live to you know to the live stuff so right. it is whatever oh care i mean it's got most everything in it that i had you know uh in the other one and once i get the proper lighting that thing back there behind me anything right there yeah that's my green screen bro yep but I don't use the green side because it's hard to get the lighting right on it. I use the blue side. I got the green and blue sided green screens. And the reason being is because the blue, for some reason, is easier to match with color than the green is. So, and I'll start using that before too long. But for right now, I'm not worried about it. Right now, my, my, my concentration is um, getting my business up and running. And... Uh, you know. Uh, Buy some new greens. Make a day while I'm in Waterville today. Uh oh. Well, while well, I'm there, right by there, I stop and get some. Oh, shit. Stop and get some water? No, some screens. Oh. I need some screens. I hear you. Come on, you motherfucker. Yeah, get trucking in that mother. Goddamn thing. Yeah, get in there. Get in the hole. In here. Get in the hole. So, Cloudy saved me last night. He did. Yes, he did. He gave me a little package to take care of me last night and this morning, apparently. And, uh,. But, you know, us being blood brothers, you know, same family, same mom, same dad, you know, brothers. Yep, yep. Kind of do that. So, you know, years ago, Francis, when I was doing all that gaming online with you and all them other guys, I didn't think in my entire life that you guys, any of you, you know, anybody would meet anybody in my family. I really didn't think that. So, come on, I need two more players for a full lobby, my papas. 
I got 150 some of my bitches I can shoot at now. Well, 149. I don't want to shoot at myself. I, damn it. What you doing over there? Fucking screen's biting me. Needle nose. The girl's needle Fuck. nose. You can tell I'm a man. I always have this kind of shit laying around. Yep. <laughs> It's always a pair of pliers or a fucking, well, hell, look, I found this on the ground the other day. I'm going to clean it up and use it. It's a fucking screw tip. It's all rusted. It'll fit in my drill and it's long enough to reach valve tops and get their, you know, screw instead of fucking jar tops. So. Fucking team really hard to fucking piss me off. Paperclip, brother. Paperclip. I got it now. Paperclip's usually my how I do it. I've been using my eraser on my pencil. Right? <laughs> there we go. You ain't now good, we'll son. Do... Now, now we'll do some fucking choking. You ain't good, son. Preparation is done. Now you deploy to the war zone. Yeah, I gotta start. Yeah. Yeah. Too much other shit going on. I got too much going on on my fucking mind. Right? Like I told Betsy last thing, I am so glad to hear your voice. After two Don't days of not talking to her, boy, yeah. really starting to get to me. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, there that... are times where I get madder than fucking hell at her, but you know. <laughs> Well, you know, it's, the thing is, is when you love somebody like, like, like we love people, uh -huh. you're passionate about how they feel and how they are and stuff like that, and they don't understand that, you know, they, they just think that you're yelling, and, and you have to go back later and say, honey, I'm so damn sorry, I didn't mean to, you know, scream at you like that, da 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 da, -da. you know, it's just, I don't know, it's, yep. People have their own ways of dealing with stuff, and you know, I just let them deal with it. So, I mean, because I want yep. them, I want them to leave me alone and let me deal with what I need to deal with. You know? Yep. That doesn't mean I'm not passionate. That doesn't mean I don't love people. It just means I have my own shit, man. Yep. So, sorry if you don't agree, but it's all good. Oh, laggy. <laughs> fucking laggy. What? Another update for fucking Battle Run. Chris, I just did it last night. You didn't tell me you got a fucking another one? Oh, yeah, it's a small. <coughs> the fuck? No weapons over here? I need a fucking weapon, bro. I'll take that, I guess. Have you ever heard of uh, Ace Combat 7? No. I got that one. That's a pretty fucking cool game. Right? Yeah, you fly around and fucking destroy these. Got very good graphics in it, too. Oh, yeah, I yeah, just yeah. Got, I just gotta get my fucking. my wing thing, my digger. 3D Pro Stick. To right. get working on that. Not working on it correctly. I gotta figure that out eventually. Right. Uh, like I said, I have been playing nothing lately. Yeah, I know. Guys, on Farm Simulator 22, I got almost over 800 hours on that son of a bitch. Damn, bro. Oh yeah, I play that like fucking, and I ain't even touched it in a month or two. Right? <laughs> so, you know, it's one of those deals, you know. Right? Oh. There it is! <laughs> Go ahead and fuck with me, I got a tube gun. I'll shoot you with a fucking tube. Excuse me. 
You know, Francis, for years I've been looking for an excuse for you, brother. I haven't been able to find one yet. You ain't gonna find one. I didn't think so. Because oh, there ain't any. Right? <coughs> Please tell me this is a stronghold. I'm losing ground. Wouldn't try to gain any. Silly fuck. Positive ID on multiple strongholds. Locations are marked on your attack map. Oh, this is a stronghold. Proceed to the stronghold and defuse the explosives. I'm here. Where the hell's the door? Yeah, I'm looting the hell out of it. <laughs> Damn, fucking trouble now. <laughs> That's a real dude. Black site location. in New York somewhere. <coughs> Betsy said you're kidding me. I said no I'm not Betsy. Not like iceberg. But you know just a little bit for gas. You know, right. He sends me a hundred dollars each time. Yep. Well. <coughs> hmm. I should probably stop drinking coffee and pay attention to what the hell I'm doing right? Black site is what I'm going to. It's 450 meters from me, and I have no idea. It's in Adkar Village, so and I've got lag. Freaking ways to go, then. Yeah, a little bit. I see that. Yeah. But I can do shit like this too. I ain't worried about the circle closing. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. Enemy right below me. Uh, it's one good 
boom, sniper right shots to the left. I don't have a freaking mic on mine. Right? Thank freaking God. Well, I shouldn't have a 750. Right? <laughs> I got people inside the black side already. Oh. Now, have a cigarette, get dressed, get ready, go up to see her. Glad to see her. Glad to see her. <laughs> oh, no, he killed me! Oh, hey, buddy. Jesus. Ah. Yeah, the guy came and got you. Yep. Soldiers. Now you're a prisoner. Yep, in the gulag. Alright, who's that? That's oh. Mr. Cloudy. Oh. Hey, Cloudy. Did you send me a... Have you sent out a new friend request on Facebook? Yeah, I did last night. It was my old one. Oh, okay. Oh! So I, didn't know to or, I didn't know to accept it or not, because, you know, you never know if you're getting hacked, you know. I cooked yeah, my grenade too long. long. I'm gonna ask you. Okay, I'm gonna accept it then. I'll come for Go back to base with me. Learn from the lost. Failure is a one 67, kiss my ass. Don't mind me, I'm still dying off this first hit. Uh, morning, Mr. Cloudy. How are you, brother? Morning, Mr. Cloudy. How are you, brother? Oh, Dang sorry, God. bro. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Not awake yet. Uh oh. Uh, morning, Mr. Bandit. Sorry. Morning, bro. Problem. Uh... Mr. Bandit, how's Mama doing? Well, I got to talk to her at 9 o'clock last night. Finally. Sweet. Not to see her in file. Praise God. She's doing okay. She's put in the ICU unit for overnight, just to keep an eye on her and stuff. And, Amen. And Praise she, God. Yeah, and she's doing good, man. As far as Sweet. I know, I ain't got no phone call from no doctor this morning, so. <clears throat> so they got they got all the all the blood to stop and all that. Yep. Yep, good, they did. Good. She did a cat scan. They did a cat scan uh, on her yesterday after they put that in there, uh -huh. and uh, they checked her whole body, and there's no bleeding nowhere. So. Sweet, praise God. Yep, praise God is right. Yep. Well, the uh. reason why she put her, they put her in ICU last night because during that procedure, freaking heart race, wicked. Uh, yeah, it, they wanted well, to keep an eye on her. See, they, they yeah, basically they, put her in observation, is what they did. I see you observation. Of course, she's, she's got heart disease. She's had a four way bypass, you know, yeah. and oh, shit. Yeah, goddamn said, nine yards. Yeah, so. yeah, that's why this is. That's, I'll tell you what. That's why this I'll is so stressful what. on me and him and her and whoever gives a shit about this man and, and, and people in general. I mean, she's had a fucking quadruple bypass, bro. They put stints in. I'll tell you, man, there, there is a lot of prayers out there because I don't know how she would have done it, <laughs> you know, going through half of this shit. Well, you know, you, you kept me informed the entire time, which, you know, I'm, you know, I'm going to freaking pray for her. Yeah. You know, I'm going to pray for everything, you know, because I love you guys. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, last night there. I sat down for a good 45 minutes and just cried my fucking eyeballs out. I needed to do that. I yep. just needed yep. it. I felt better afterwards. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Absolutely, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with a grown man crying. Nope. Nope. There sure ain't. Not when you, not when, uh, it's warranted, you know? I mean, if a grown man just tries to be crying, and that's why you kind of look at him and you're like, what the fuck? But if you got a reason, if you have a reason, and this is a reason, you guys have been married 30, how many years? 37 years? 38 years? Coming up on 30, 38? 38 coming up on 39. 39. 
So you guys been and married known, and known and known each other for forty five years. See, but how long did you date before you got married? You know. God, I don't freak. <laughs> You've been together so long. So 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 for you to sit there and say I, I, I cried. You know, I spent forty five minutes of my evening crying is just fine, Francis. You guys been together a long time. You guys have a strong connection. Um you love each other to the point to where you could probably beat each other up with a damn cast iron skillet and still stay together. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> You know, because you give her a lot of hell, but at the same time, she turns around and gives you just as much. Oh, yeah, she does. And yeah. you're going to have to, you, you've been a strong person this entire time, and I, I guarantee you, man, you, uh, I'll wait. No. you're going to have to find strength that you didn't think you had. Yep. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, Bullshit. <laughs> believe me, so. what I got coming on, what I got coming okay. in the future here <laughs> is going to be tough. Right? Oh, yeah. No doubt. Oh yeah. Alright. What's going on over there? Uh, yeah, something's going on. He's not happy. Well, <laughs> Mr. Cloudy just said bullshit. I haven't which... even yep. processed that motherfucker yet. Uh oh, there's Mama Ooh. Cloudy. They better get that motherfucker processed. Oh, sorry guys. Mm? That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> You gotta tell them the way it is, man. Get it done. <laughs> well, why the hell you're lagging behind, bro? But you lagging behind. Uh, the scene I wanted to get rid of is still in here. That's that's. I should have never messed with it. Messed with this this morning. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. If I come in here and played with shit when I wasn't awake, I shouldn't have done it. No, you shouldn't have done it. No. <laughs> you ought to know better than that. Right. First thing you got to do, first thing you got to do is you got to smoke a bowl before right. you even start doing any of that. Uh -huh. <laughs> or take at least a hit or two. <laughs> Fucking sons of bitches. Oh, boy. The next time, I want to be on that phone next time. Because I'm going to tell them a few goddamn things. No. Okay. And they better hope that I'm awake. Let me guess, this must be about the truck. Yeah. The I figured Sabre. it was. Yep. Fucking saber trying to fuck us over. Uh oh. Uh oh, what are they doing now? Oh, they took forty-eight extra dollars extra out of Suck's account because they thought that the truck didn't have full coverage insurance on it. Uh. And there's full coverage insurance on it, and now we've been seventy-two hours with these motherfuckers trying to get this forty-eight dollars back. Friday, honey. It was Friday when I called them because they said it. Wow. wow, almost a freaking week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, that's what these. That's what. That's part of this fucking shit that these. Forty-eight dollars is some people much money. To me, it's a lot. Yeah, forty-eight bucks, especially oh, in today's definitely. economy. Oh my god. That's like eight dollars for sure. Bro, fifty bucks, man. That's right. That's like reaching onto my plate when I have French fries on it. You're going to get a fork in your hand. You know. Yeah, we we signed the deal for the auto pay. Right. But. That does not mean that you have to fucking steal forty-eight dollars more of fucking money, mm -mm. and that's exactly what the fuck you did. Yeah. They didn't get the insurance information when he sent in the contract. I don't. Believe that's a bunch of bullshit. Nope. We got it when we were at. Yes, it was all faxed over all at the same fucking time. Uh. So tell me another motherfucking lie. Tell that lie to a judge. <clears throat> That's exactly what the fuck I'll tell him. Tell you can that get, lie to a judge. You can get fax results, bro. They know whether or not them faxes went through. I, I'll just tell them, fuck Are, it. I so, won't sit here and argue with you. I'll just let the attorneys argue and so, let the judge make the, uh, the, the, have you called, the have, decision. Have you called the insurance company? No, we, we've got all the goddamn, we've got the, the cards. We've Look, got the paperwork. 
wrote up. Call the insurance company, have them call the finance department and tell them, look, They've had full coverage insurance and here's the proof. We fax the information over or however the hell that went and let them know because they're taking money out of your account that they should not be taking money out of. The insurance that, company kind of, can help you in this situation. Yeah, um, that's what I would do too. Next time, or we could have the fucking insurance company, Sabre, and to verify that that car has had full coverage insurance on it ever since it was bought, before it was driven then, off the lot. Yeah, before it was driven off the lot. Friday, I guess Kevin, our salesman, faxed them again our insurance papers. Hmm. Well, then they've got one more time. Yeah, this is it. Before I look at them and tell them, you either get this corrected or we take it in front of a judge and we let him decide who's the fucking lie here. Better be $48 on my fucking account. Well, it'd be a lot more than $48. I'll have to pay court costs, attorney fees, all that shit. No, no, I'm talking about for right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know. You taking money, you ain't, you you ain't authorized to take. You credit, credit my fucking account $48 fucking dollars. Right. Yeah. Right fucking now. You, you taking money out of my account that it's not authorized, bro. I promise you, it's like taking french fries off my plate. I will stick a fucking fork in you. See, this was... They're saying that they credit the account. But they didn't put the money into the account. No, basically what they're saying is, is they took the forty-eight dollars and they they, they they stuck it to your they stuck it to your loan account instead of your yeah. checking account. So now they have to take yeah. it out of the loan account and put it in your checking account, which is a yeah. uh, pain in the ass for them to do. Which is why they're fucking avoiding it because it's a lot of goddamn work. It's a lot of fucking yeah. paperwork, and somebody might get fired. Well, oh well. In today's society, wow. nobody would get fired. Exactly. You know, fucking, they should have been, they should have done their job right the first time. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm growing angrily, anger, bad. No, I don't blame you. I'd be the same fucking way, man. I'd be the same goddamn way. I'd be all over their fucking ass. Yep. Like you said, it's only $48. Check your dollars, and weapon. We go what? $48. All freaking way down. That's all you got. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. Give me back my money or you're going to get shot. Enemy soldier incoming. Where? Oh, there's a bunch all of All right, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take off. Get ready to go up and see Beth. Okay. And I'll get a hold of you later when I get back. Okay. Because I'll be back by dark. So I should be back by 4 o'clock. Just dark? Huh? Oh, ho, ho. You, you be careful, Mr. Bandit, because it's supposed to be snowing like a son of a bitch up there today. Oh, he knows. Not until, not until 7 o'clock tonight. He's supposed to get 12 plus. Not, not me, thank God. <laughs> Down the south, southern part of the state is going to get 12 plus. We're only going to get 2 to 5. So, I'm proud, I'm proud of that. And but by the I way, saw, sir, he was going to get 12 plus. And they marked the whole fucking state. Uh, right. Well, I haven't seen that yet, but hey, if it comes, it comes. I don't care anymore because I don't shovel anymore. All I do is do the ramp, and I have somebody come in and plow now. I don't fucking even mess with it no more. Absolutely. I'm not freaking breaking my freaking back and every freaking thing else, but yeah, I guess I'm just have somebody to do it. Well, you're only supposed to. Me 20 bucks, so you're supposed to. What? Break my back? Yes. Oh, yeah, my back. My back's been broke for years, bro. I fell off in the side of a contracting truck when I was working for this contracting place, the contracting place, and I slipped off the fucking side of that. And when I landed on the ground, I landed around on top of a fucking rock. Right. So that's what kind of did me. I couldn't fucking walk for a week. I was fucked up. Yeah. I never went and got it taken care of because I don't want to go under the fucking night. Yep. Fuck that. Yep. That's that's kind of like me. Oh, I'm being tracked. Look at that. Someone's got a contract on me already. All right. All right. Yeah, let them come get me. Take care. And I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Good luck here, Cloudy. I hope you get that taken care of. Oh, yeah, we will. All right, Mr. Bandit, you have a good day. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later on. Take care, guys. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for all the prayers, guys. I Always. appreciate it. Always. Okay, here we go. 
Okay. We gotta get this fixed sometime. What's that? To get to the game bar. Oh yeah. Drive me freaking nuts. Right. Oh, Ooh, enemy All got right. killed. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. All right. Man. All right, Francis. What the hell? What the hell? Cast off. I'll take it. Yeah, suck. Don't have to go in until noon today. Nice. Oh, this game. You better pump gas for another half, another hour and a half. Nice. Didn't need that. Yeah, I know. Dub rubber dub. Uh, hold playing with these condoms. I don't know. Do not know, bro. Mm. stream looks pretty good. Yeah, I got a little bit of lag. Mm, doesn't look all that laggy today, bro. No. Damn, I got shot. what I'm already. seeing. Right? This is pretty much staying up with you from what you're, what you're saying and what you're looking at. Yesterday, it lagged like five minutes behind what you were saying. Oh, that's just a delay. That's not lag, that's just a delay. You in the DMZ? No. Oh, you're in the BR. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm still not ready for that motherfucker, dude. Um I got lost yesterday quite a bit. Black site. Here's the black site. Got lost in it. How do you mean you got lost? I just kind of lost what the fuck I was supposed to be doing, you know? Survive. Loot. Survive. Fight. I know I killed like two or three motherfuckers yesterday, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. This one's and that was right off the get-go. Right. Because when you told 4 Dub to come help me, I was, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I was doing something, and then next thing I know, I got two or three motherfuckers on me. Mm-hmm. And it was, okay, bitch. I want that other box, but I got motherfuckers coming up behind me because the gas is moving. There's a way to get up there. I haven't found it yet. Uh, I know the map, but I don't know the innards. I know the Xverts, you know, the DMZ, which is basically the same, because it is the same map and someone's doing a contract, just completed it. Um, but, I, my issue is actually seeing fuckers. Here we go. I need a medium backpack. Yeah, I'd stow probably a proxy or a fucking claymore just in case you get two or three motherfuckers while you're in a house. You can booby trap a door or something. Well, this is solo, so it better not be two or three motherfuckers. The only thing is, is everybody in here is alive. Yeah. I got plates running out my wazoo.
gas is moving, so these some bitches behind me are gonna have to be moving. See? They're trying to get out in front of the gas, and it's it's coming this way. So they're playing the edges. Yep, I see them. Always when you're pushing or moving. Headshots. Always, always, always when you're pushing and moving. Um, damn, I need a gas mask. I guess I can buy one. Um, shit. So, this is kind of the direction I need to go now. And I got a buy right here. Loot here. See the lag now? Yeah. Yeah, that's the lag I'm talking about. And I don't know if it's video lag. See, he doesn't have any lag. I do. So that must have been an Xbox player. And I don't know if it's because of the stream or what. I don't know if it's because I'm streaming it or if it's because I'm recording it. Let me uh, get recording. See if that changes it. Because I'm going to need it. Can't you see your latency and all that while you're streaming? I can. See that? Yeah. That's why I'm getting my ass kicked, man. I got too much lag. It's it's I don't know if it's video lag or what it is. Let me try something. <clears throat> Recommended. Let's go to minimum. Let's try that. Take it to the Well it cleared on you dumb bitch. Oh my god. Lag. Still got lag. You gotta be fucking kidding me. That's connection lag. That is connection lag, bro. Literally. Connection lag. That is me connecting to the server. I'm gonna watch the ping and see what ping I'm dropping in at. There's 36. Mm -mm. I forgot I needed to do something. <laughs> I can't stand this fucking reticle. I think this is the one I like. No. Yes. Holy crap, look at that thing bounce around. Let's, uh, well, what are we going to get rid of here? Well, I'm anticipating feral hogs this year when we go fucking fishing. Yep. That's why, you know, gun comes with me. Yeah. Cause if that's something that charges me, I'm shooting motherfucker better much better i guarantee right. i hit that some bitch and it's gonna go down right the goddamn 40 cow might even tear its fucking head off right all right let me all go, right honey let me go pee here real quick time you didn't want to i was gonna oh she's gotta be there at noon she'll probably leave here about 11 30. she's gonna go get cigarettes Yeah, I showed your woman my 
six-shooter last night. She thought that shit was fucking awesome, dude. Showed her that. It's fucking awesome, man. I love it. You still there, bro? Oh, okay. You're in the back room. Sorry. <sighs> that damn car is doing a lot better. So now all 25 of my neighbors know I was peeing. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, that might have just let her know they might want to watch. No. Preferably oh, what's the matter? Not. Preferably not. I'm doing this so I can give these babies some sun and it doesn't fucking kill me. Yeah, suck better not tell me. Don't shoot it, don't shoot You Fuck you, I'm shooting that bastard. Yeah. That motherfucker tear you and me up. You don't want to be anywhere near a feral hog if it's hungry. Fuck no. It will chew the skin right off the bottom of your feet. Oh, fuck. Them tusks will rip you open bad. Them fuckers will fucking fuck you up. Bro, I've already had one full pot of coffee. You have? Yeah. I'm done with I've it. Only had, I've only had one cup of coffee. I am completely coffeeed the hell out. I thought Christy was going to have a come apart last night when I showed her my my bamboo six shooter. Mm -hmm. She thought that shit was cool as fuck. Right? I, I told her I said it does one, two, three, or I pull the cap and it does six. Mm -hmm. I said all I got to do is just throw cones in there, tear up my shit. Throw it in there, shake it around a little bit, tap it on the counter, pull one out, pack it down a little bit, fold it in, done. <laughs> I ain't gotta waste all goddamn time to, you know, hold on, honey, I gotta, I gotta break this shit up. No. All you gotta do is just lift the lid and pull one out, and it's ready to go. I can even take it fishing with us, bro. Right. The wind won't even fuck with it. Damn. Probably gonna get my ass kicked again. The only way to do this is to learn it, right? Yeah, I know. It's just I I get so fucking upset because of fucking It's I either I, not doing something or I don't turn around or it's when I do turn around I fucking don't squeeze the trigger in time or something. Okay. So you need to work on your watch your ass. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, and you also need to work on your movement because your movement is key. If you get hit, you need to get the fuck out. It's not find out where the hell you're, they're hitting you from. Get the fuck out because it's going to show you the direction even after you get out. Yeah. And, it, and then, you know, you can either move or, or just whatever. You can fight, choose to fight, or move, or not. It's up to you, bro. I mean, it really is. Right. And, and and the thing that people need to realize, this is just a damn game. Yep. Bitch, I got plates, too. This gun bounces around too much. Dirt Diggler. I just got killed by Dirt Diggler. You know who Dirk Diggler is, don't you? Uh-uh. The fucking... It's not a porn star, but he played a porn star in a movie, I think, in some comedy. Look it up. Oh. It'll have you laughing your fucking ass off, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna drop in the backside of Rohan Oil and see how many motherfuckers are gonna drop in with me. Probably a bunch. Five seconds, stand by. Yeah, the... Where they saw the first sighting of those hogs. Uh huh. Out there at Larry Stickline's fucking place. Oh yeah. Start to tear his place up. Oh yeah. I know. That's why they. That's why he was. 
you know, on the news about it. Yeah, it's like he was videoed on the news about it. Larry Seckland being a, you know, a news anchor from around here for years. Yeah. So, trying to stick the dot right in the butt. Right in the butt. Oh, Oh shit. That's all I've ever known him to report on is ag news, agriculture. Yeah, that's news. all he records on. Got one right there. Visual and x ray. Where's Pat? He must be going down to Julie's. Was that a nice size package I sent to you last night? Yeah. Still working on it. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, it, yeah. There's a couple of the bowls there. I looked at my stash and I was like, hell, I can give him more than just a couple of bowls. Well, um, I'm still looking for my damn paycheck, bro. Well, I know. So, You're good. I'm in no big hurry. And I, I do believe the reason why it's late is because... It, the you know, holiday. Yep, the holiday. And it'll show up and drop in the bank tomorrow. Yep, it will. Ooh, that's dangerous giving me a Vel 46, bro. <laughs> right? Nah. I don't like the SL14. I will stow that. M4? Nah, I got a better one. Hmm. I do need the cash. And I need a three plate vest and a gas mask. See, what AV doesn't understand is this game is kind of like plunder. I know he's here. Kind of like plunder, only yeah. you have to survive. And I was talking to him last night, and I told him, and I like I've been telling you, when you guys move or turn, it looks like you're moving so damn slow to me. To, from my point of view, you guys are moving slow. In my point of view. Right. Well, we've turned oh, my oh, shit up. There he is. He's up there. Fixing the fuck dude up. He knows I'm here. Enemy UAV active. Bell 46 ain't good at distance shots, medium or long. Whoa, but that is. Oh, bitch. Okay. Requesting fire mission. Target mark. Copy that. Mortar strike inbound. Now come get me. Impact, no hit. Nope, but it got him off my ass. Stow anything else. Uh, 
Requesting recon flyover. Copy that. UAV online and orbiting the AO. I need something long distance to medium distance. Right? This Chimera is good at short distance, but when it comes to medium or long distance, it ain't worth a fuck. Close my sock. Hi, my honeys. Been looted. Fuck. How's the... How'd your truck run? Good. Is it cold out there? Can we turn some heat on? So 14. This one work. Come on. You've got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Friendly loadout drop on the way. Hmm, in relation to the loadout drop, I've got to cut back that way. This is the one I've already looted, I think. Yep. I turned some heat on for you. Uh. Okay. My suck poo, my suck poo. Right? Someone's got the black side open and it ain't me. First game this morning, I was in a, a, a stronghold. Then I went to the black site and couldn't get it open because I couldn't figure it out. Oh. I had the key, but yeah. Well, what the hell am I doing? See a car? Enemy JLTV here. Somebody just ran into my cluster mine. God damn. Yeah. Well, I got some heat on for you.
We should warm up here. You kicked a big cover off last night. Well, you had the whole thing on top of me, and I was like, bullshit. You pushed the whole blanket on me. Oh, like, no, oh that is. I was like, fuck it. Get out of bed. Well, my brain said to get rid of it, so I got rid of it. I just folded it up and put it on the end of it. Enemy JLTV here. Yeah, because fuck, I keep us both warm at the same time. Oh. <laughs> She's trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out where the hell this circle is going to close and where I could be. Because I want to try and get there first. <laughs> well. You see where those two uh, buy stations are right close to each other? Yep, right, right there. Right dead center of the map? Mm -hmm. I bet you that's where it's going to fucking be, right there. I've only got 3,300, so I can't do anything. But buy plates, maybe. Yeah, I know, but that maybe looks like, like where that circle's going to wind up ending. It looks like more over here. That or it could just break into two up. and start moving. Yep, it's all right. Shots to the right. Get ready to show the new circle. Go ahead. Vehicle. About right over here. Moving here. Enemy car, Mark. Carry him around and put it in the right spot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Got an X right here. Oh, I still got lag, man. I'm gonna have to fucking shut the stream down because I got way too much damn lag for this. Figure out why the hell I'm getting so much lag.
I bet they're camping it. Yep, camping it. I knew they were camping it. All right. Anyway. That's going to be the hit for the stream for now. We'll do coffee and conversations tomorrow morning. Ooh. Ooh. Something. right there. 